What's up, everybody? Today, I'm playing a game called Mythgrove, Festival of You. It's a uh, roguelike uh, dungeon crawler sort of game. Uh, it's a very early build. Um, there's gonna be some bugs and some janky animations and such. I believe this is like a school project, I, if I'm correct. Yes, maybe. Seems like it. Senior capstone project. So yeah, maybe for school? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> uh, maybe the devs can clarify. Uh, I'm bad at this sort of thing. Anyway, uh, I already kind of played this a little bit, and uh, yeah, I just wanted to kind of talk about it a little bit just because I played it, and uh, the dev was kind enough to uh, provide an offline build after I asked. I didn't want to like leave him hanging or anything. Um, so yeah, uh, you're probably wondering why uh, Kobayashi's Dragon Maid is in the like corner there with some like Neko ears and stuff. Uh, apparently, this is like an online game, so like in this corner, right top right corner here, um, it has like some server stuff or whatever. I'm I'm just gonna click the like host server button and it lets me control the game. And there was like some like information there I didn't want to show. Um, I'm sure it'll be it would be safe, but I just thought nah, I don't want to like you know show that off. But uh, yeah, so don't mind the image there. Um, it's just our little partner, uh, if, our little anime girl that we can, uh, I sound like a creep right now. Anyway, let's talk about the game. So, uh, it's third person. I can sprint, I can, uh, beat up the wind, I guess, and, uh, I can, yeah, I can just move around pretty easily. The camera's not, like, the most amazing thing. Also, I'm sliding around like I'm Yuri on Ice or something right now, but, uh, or the Persona 5 intro. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think of something funny to do there, but I'll, uh, I'll spare you. Um, so yeah, all these NPCs don't really work. Um, I, I have coin, uh, apparently, but uh, I can't really buy anything. I guess these are like, this is where you buy potions and equipment or something. And uh, yeah, these are some other vendors. They're really cute little animations. It, the game looks really nice, too. Um, it, it, it's got a lot of like little... It's not like the most advanced thing in the world, but it's got some nice lighting there. It's got some, you know, it's got some working animations. It's got some nice ambience and it looks good and it feels good so far. I mean, the character controls like pretty well as well, but I mean, it looks janky, but it, it does control well. Um, and uh, don't worry, I'll hold your wares for you. I don't know what any of this is. This is like a storage. I guess it's like, because it's a roguelike, so you go into the dungeon and then you come out and you probably manage your resources and equipment that way. But yeah, there's there's just all these like vendors out here that you can talk to. to this guy's like, you spin the wheel, so maybe like in the full game it'll be something like uh, you you uh, roll a buff or a debuff or something. You just take a chance to like maybe get something good uh, while you go in. But uh, yeah, let's uh, jump into the dungeon. It's a, uh, it is, it is a uh, beta build. I want to say that again. Uh, so press E to open this gate and I'm about to like sneeze or burp or something. <laughs> That's why I'm, I sound like a psychopath right now. Um, well, I usually sound like a psychopath. All right. These are the enemies that are in this dungeon. They're very freaky. Um, they make the weirdest sound in the world. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna slap him away. I'm actually invincible in this build, so I, I don't have to worry about dying too much. Um, and yeah, I, they dropped a weapon, and I can pick it up, and I equipped it, which is pretty cool. And, uh, I can pick up some gold, which is pretty nice too. And yeah, we're, let's be on our merry way. And, uh, this is, basically, we're gonna be exploring this entire dungeon. Uh, it's like two floors, and, uh, there's an exit. Uh, you don't really get a reward or anything, there's no, like, boss or anything, but you just fight a couple of these enemies and, uh, yeah, then you, uh, you'd be on your merry way. You can actually pick up multiple items and weapons. You can press tab to, uh, switch between them. Uh, so you have this blue sword. You can't really see it because the camera is not letting me show it properly, but, uh, well, I can swing it. And then, uh, you got this, uh, this black sword. Let's use the blue sword. I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty epic with the blue sword. Uh... But yeah, these uh, weird... This guy is having a fun time in this corner over here. Uh, this guy is... Uh, oh, these guys are everywhere in the dungeon. There's, there seems to be a lot of weapon designs, uh, I noticed. Um, 
And uh, yeah, they all look really cool. And uh, they, they don't change your stats right now. Um, that was a little disappointing to see. But uh, again, early build, so I can't really fault it for that. It's pretty nice that these boxes break and kind of go flying. That's really satisfying. Um, hopefully there'll be like items in there. But yeah, there's like cute little environment details. And yeah, there's some nice aesthetics to this game as well. Um, oh, okay, except for that camera, maybe. <laughs> but, uh, I think the dungeons are randomly generated each time, so the one I entered now was not the same as the one I entered when I initially played the game. So, yeah, there's some, like, random, again, roguelike sort of things, so, including random ge dungeon generations. I'm sure there will be static and dynamic things that go along with that. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna explore this dungeon. It's pretty short. It is very easy to get lost, I noticed. Um, just because everything kind of looks the same, but uh... Oh jeez, there's no map or anything either, so... Yeah, I'm just like exploring around, looking like a dweeb. I, I gotta say, these enemy designs are really, uh, really freaky. <laughs> oh man. Oh yeah, this floating skull is pretty epic. <laughs> but so far it's uh, pretty like... I think my biggest critique would be like the combat system. It's it's pretty uh... It doesn't, see, it doesn't seem very refined, to be blunt, I guess. Um, the fact that I can even damage enemies though is like a good sign. Uh, but like, I guess like being able to lock on and like move around your enemy and like, you know, maybe like a dodge roll or something, I don't know. I don't know what direction this game is going to go in, like, is it going to be more of, it, it seems like it's going to be more of an action RPG. Um, maybe they need to add things like dodging and, like, rolling or whatever. Maybe it'll be, like, very Dark Souls-y. Dark Souls Rogue Light. Has that been done before? I'm sure it has. Um, but yeah. It's, uh, it controls pretty well, like, moving-wise, but, uh, combat-wise, it, it definitely needs some improvements. It's, uh, Again, it's a miracle that it, it works at all. Um, usually I'd expect a build like this to be like way more janky, but uh, it's I can get I got through the dungeon surprisingly, and it's really nice that it's randomized. So you know, always exploring the same thing. Hopefully there'll be like different environments to explore as well. I'm sure there'll be like treasure chests and things to like open up. I imagine. More boxes to destroy. Oh, right, I'm getting a little hyper there. Sorry. But uh, let's try to find our way to the end. And uh, yeah, I, actually, I probably even won't even do that. I mean, it's you just end up back at the entrance. But uh, yeah, it's just a pretty neat game, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing where it goes. Uh, apparently, it's like they're only like halfway done with the project, so. Um, hopefully the, the finished product is, uh, a lot more refined, and, uh, yeah, definitely want to see some more improvements on that combat system. That, uh, it seems very, uh, plain right now. Um, but the fact that this even works is, uh, is a good, it's a good sign of things to come, in my opinion. Um, <laughs> maybe these enemies could be a lot more, uh, menacing. Uh, they look freaky, but, uh, after a while they just kind of... Yeah, <laughs> they're uh, more of an annoyance, I suppose. Maybe we'll see some boss monsters toward the end of each of these uh, levels or whatever. It's hard to say uh, what direction they're going in, because uh, so far it's like kind of generic, you know? It's uh, it's not doing anything like too like like I can't get a I can't like figure out what they're trying to go for here. But, I mean, what they have so far is, uh, pretty nice, so... I guess this would be the, the boss room before you, you exit the dungeon. But yeah, I'm gonna exit the dungeon, and, uh, yeah, I'm back here. I don't think I can spend my money. I tried, and, uh... But yeah, and then I guess... I haven't actually tried going back in. I think it just, uh... Puts you in the same area, but, uh... I mean, heck, let's try it. <laughs> Yeah, we're in the same little dungeon area. But uh, yeah, that was uh, that was the game, <laughs> and uh, 
yeah, it, it seems like it needs a lot of work, but it was it's pretty fun for what it is. It's like interesting. Um, I didn't retain any of my weapons or anything, but no, oh well, that's okay. So yeah, this is a. Uh... Oh man, I should have been. Mythgrove Festival of You. That's I can't believe that. that's that's a first. I forgot the name of the game. Uh, wow, that's bad. <laughs> um, I'm, I apologize greatly. Um, but yeah, this is a. Uh... This is the game. <laughs> if you want to try it out yourself, you can click in the link in the description down below and uh, play the game for yourself. Maybe try it out, see uh, what you like and dislike about it. And uh, oh my god, that guy warped through a wall. That is. Alright. That. Okay. Alright, that's a good point to end the video on, I guess. Uh, again, apologies for the uh, Kobayashi icon there. Uh, it's pretty adorable, I have to say, but uh, usually I don't add those kind of things in my video. Um, I'm not even sure if that's official artwork. I don't even know who the artist is. I'm I'm stealing that from the internet. Uh, it looked cute, so I just took it off Google Images. Uh, I'm, I apologize to the artist if uh, if you're out there and you see this image, feel free to sue me for all my money, um, or just let me know. <laughs> I guess. Anyway, again, if you want to play the game, uh, click the little link down in the description below. You can play it yourself, uh, give some feedback to the devs. Uh, I'm sure they have a form that you can fill out, um, which is pretty helpful for them. So if you want to go ahead and do that, that'd be pretty cool for their, to help them out and see, uh, or give them some very helpful feedback for their game. And uh, yeah, if you want to check out more of my videos, you can subscribe. Uh, I try to post content almost whenever I feel like it. I don't know. I've been doing it every day recently, but uh, yeah, sometimes I take a break. I don't know. And, uh, yeah, if you want to leave a like on the video, all that stuff, uh, yeah, yada, yada, yada. Uh, I'm tired. I'm going to go to sleep after this. So, uh, yeah, thanks, everyone, for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys for the next one. Take care, stay safe, and bye-bye. Uh,